What features do you look for in a new car? Great handling and response, safety, reliability. How about options at the fuel pump? Whatever you choose, it has to fit your budget. Tim Pickens, president of Orion Propulsion, knows that choosing the right features for a new spacecraft is not so different. With help from Phase 1 and Phase 2 Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR awards from NASA Marshall Space Flight Center, his Alabama company is developing cutting-edge rocket propulsion products to help the space agency reach its future exploration goals. One of the SBIR awards is to develop an innovative new rocket igniter. Traditional rocket igniters that rely on electric sparks and exciters can pose challenges with radiation during spaceflight. It's a nightmare dealing with this high voltage out in free space trying to, uh, to plan around it. It costs a lot of money to do that and harden all your electronics. It is just a nightmare. Now imagine not having any electronics. All you've got is two valves. You open those valves and this thing lights. That's the beauty of the acoustic igniter. It replaces all this stuff. Orion Propulsion's acoustic igniter doesn't rely on high voltage connections or spark plugs. By using compression waves to heat the propellant, the device can reach auto-ignition within milliseconds. The streamlined acoustic igniter features no moving parts, which makes it easier to maintain and operate and could reduce manufacturing costs. The company is also using SBIR funding from Marshall to further mature new rocket thrusters that will help stabilize and steer the next generation of spacecraft. The oxygen-methane reaction control system thrusters can use liquid or gas propellants, or a mixture of both. This flexible fuel capability will provide rocket scientists with more opportunities to move away from some of the toxic and unstable propellants used in today's thrusters. Having a capability to use greener fuels not only helps protect the environment, it keeps astronauts from getting poisonous propellant residue on their spacesuits when they venture outside the craft. The thruster technology may even lead to a future where space explorers have the capability to make and use rocket fuel from materials found on other worlds. Orion Propulsion is making good use of knowledge gained from the SBIR project as they work with Boeing to design and build reaction control system thrusters for NASA's next generation spacecraft, Ares-1. It's important for Pickens to get his company's products developed quickly, so government and commercial customers will be able to take advantage of the new propulsion technology. I think we need to grow the company in, in, as fast as we can, and SBRs augment that for us. And um, they augment it probably more than anything, it's not through the money, but through the technology and the accessibility to the right people to help us reduce risk. And that's what it's all about, is risk reduction and products. So the next time rocket designers sit down to figure out what features they need in their next spacecraft propulsion system, they'll have more options, due in part to the SBIR program and Orion Propulsion. <laughs>